everybody, it's a Week in Review. My name is Bailey, and after lunch, we do calendar. I love math! One, two, three! In science, we're learning about P waves and S waves. We did a lab that shows how they travel through different mediums. Today in class, I got to make elephant toothpaste, which, which is a mixture of H2O2 with dish show and yeast. Today in architecture, we are building balsa wood houses. So we get a set of plans and a box full of balsa wood that we're given. And then we just have to look at the plans and cut the wood and just put it all together in the shape of a house. Teachers are here preparing for the first day of school. They're busy working in their classrooms and putting the final touches on the building. I wanted to do guest reader because I wanted to teach children about safety tips and how to stay safe in school. Today, Fairview High School students are going to the Belmont Theater for production of Macbeth. Hi, I'm Alex, and today in Ms. Lawhoon's 8th grade ELA class, we did a Socratic seminar. So basically, we went over the story that we're reading, and we discussed our different ideas of the conflict. Today we are doing skating, and the most fun thing that I learned today was we learned how to stop, slow down, and get up if we fell. This week at Renaissance, uh, for our semester two iLab kickoff, Dr. Miller came and talked to us about the EIC which inspired us for this next semester of iLab. This is Winston Elementary, and today in art we're drawing a snowman. Today in science class, we'll be learning about chemical equations in photosynthesis. We're using marshmallows and toothpicks to make molecules on the reactant side. The science guys came today, and we learned about gravity, and gravitational pull, and force. I'm here at Nolensville High School and I'm in Principles of an Engineering and we've designed some wind power cars. <laughs> Today at Longview we are making sculptures at art class. We are making monsters out of pinch pots. This week at Hunter's Bend we're talking about Caldecott for Ms. Nesbitt showed us some of the nominees and she taught us what it would be like if we won. Today we we're learning about Monet. He's most famous for painting outside. He made these really fast and we, and we made them to an art class today. Today we read a book named Life on Mars and we had to design a rocket ship to oh, with only two pieces of paper and one piece of tape. In robotics today we did an assignment where we made a robot dance by making codes. Today in art we are learning um, to do paper mache and we are making people. In social studies, we learned about the Plains Indians and how they were super nomadic about chasing their food, the buffalo. So we decided to make their um, transportable homes, the teepees. This week at Fairview Middle School, in my social studies class, we are learning about linear perspectives and how they were introduced into the Renaissance period. Today we're going to Miss Baltimore's class to learn about sculptures. Today at Lipscomb in fifth grade, we had STEM day. We took unknown substances and made a chemical reaction. It turns out we made homemade vanilla ice cream. We are in library doing STEM challenges, pretending we are engineers. We are trying to build a castle, but when we tried to build it, it collapsed. So we thought we need to support it with this. This weekend when we learned about tetrahedrons, we were in groups of four and we made first and second order tetrahedrons. Then we all combined and we used over 500 marshmallows and a thousand toothpicks. This week at Trinity, we did AR, which is short for augmented reality. We explored AR by looking at forces of nature and matter. For example, we looked at a volcano and, and natural disasters. I'm in TV and film too, and right now I'm working on a short film, uh, <laughs> short film ideas because we're doing a short film project. Charger Council brought in enough items to reach our goal, so we taped Miss Sparrow to the wall. This week in fifth grade, we've been doing informative writing, and my prompt is about the oil spill with penguins. Today in Grass and Middle School and Social Studies, we are learning how King John made decisions through difficult scenarios. Today we are learning about polar bears in art class and we're making polar bears out of charcoal. This week at Centennial we're preparing for the International Festival which brings many different cultures together. 
Our dance that we are preparing shows many different types of music and dances that we have here at Centennial amongst the Latino culture. We are making objects to make prints in art class. Today in art class we are weaving DVDs. Next week we are, learn we are using needles to yarn. This week in social studies we are doing the geography bee and whoever wins that will go to the school-wide one and then whoever wins that one will go to state. So this week at Ravenwood uh, we're preparing for Battle of the Woods. It's our biggest rivalry. Uh, it's against Brentwood. Um, it's a basketball game and it's uh, this Friday, uh, January 10th. We had career day dress up and I dressed up as my fourth grade teacher. We're at fourth grade at Heritage Elementary and we're doing a recycling STEM project on reusing an empty lot. Brentwood High Theater students are performing Much Ado About Nothing at the Tennessee Thespian Conference this Friday. We are rehearsing this week. We are having a hot cocoa party today to celebrate our students who have reached their accelerated reader goals. Today in the Learning Commons, we have kindergartners with us today, and they're doing a response STEM project to a book we read, Three Billy Goats Craft. Yes! We did it! It was a great week. Thanks for watching. Nashville has always been known as Music City, but Brentwood's most famous resident, Dolly Parton, and her manager, Danny Nozell, want to open the door to new industry in Nashville with the construction of an innovative movie production soundstage. Well, Danny and I have often talked about uh, having a, a soundstage or something in Nashville. Even when I did my movie of Code of Many Colors, a Tennessee story about a Tennessee girl, I had to go out of state to do it. It's not the first soundstage but it's going to be a soundstage that Nashville doesn't have. Our goal is to make a facility that you can film, you can edit, do all the music scoring for that film in one place. And that's exactly what we're trying to achieve. And it's gonna take about six to eight months. So we're hoping to be fully operational by October of next year. A unique feature for the soundstage is that it will have its own recording studio so the music for movies can be scored in the same facility they are filmed in. As for Danny Nozell's musical clients, he was sure to build features to accommodate their individual musical needs. We're planning to have facilities where I actually can actually record my music here as a recording artist in addition to doing the movies. And yes, I intend to use it for everything for me, from my stage shows, from my recordings, and from the movies that I do. I know they're doing Star Wars in Nashville here, and I think they got a 50 or 60 person orchestra. Well, now we're making it capable so that you can have a 190 person orchestra to do anything, any score in the world, any movie, and it's gonna be dedicated specifically for scoring. With the soundstage being so large and having so many state-of-the-art facilities to be used for a number of production purposes, lots of positions will have to be filled to make the many moving parts of this stage work smoothly. We're opening this up to the entire community because one, it's all Nashville people that were hired. Everything is gonna be local. Somewhere between 100 to 200 jobs should be created because on a movie set, you need you know all the different jobs a production company would have and they, they come and they hire local when they do this. It'd be a wonderful thing for Tennessee. It'd be a wonderful thing for the business and a great thing for Nashville. Making plans to utilize the new soundstage is one of the key factors for Dolly Parton to make sure she never fades from the scene. But she accredits most of her success to her religious beliefs and supportive fans. I love what I do, and I think because I've been at it so long that I've, people are kind of used to me. They kind of feel like I'm family. So I'm, I've kind of been around, and then I've been fortunate enough to have good things happen to me. I'm still here, and I'm glad that I am. And I've got a good attitude, a good work ethic. I've, I'm serious about my business, and I try to enjoy my work, and I just do my thing, and so far it's working. And it's worked well for a career that spanned six decades. I'm Alex Wells. And you're watching WBHS 9 News. It's supposed to be like a winter wonderland. So today at Mill Creek Elementary School, our kiddos will be walking into a winter wonderland. I was like, whoa, what happened? Are we 
we're gonna have like clues to figure out uh, a vocabulary. We had this um, present and we would punch it and there would be snowballs falling and we have to figure out the answers to it. We're using our context clues to figure out um, the clues on our um, little snowballs. Okay, you do that one. We are answering questions to our to a story we just read. And it's me, it's me. We're thinking. We're finding the main idea and finding the details that support it. Most of the questions are like just cor making, correcting the sentences. I just thought we were gonna have a normal day. We are fishing for these fishes there. And if you get the one from these passages, then, and you find the answer, then you write it down on which one it is. I feel so happy. Today we were learning about planets and the solar system and their moons. I was using iPads to learn about the solar system. And we were playing with iPads to figure out um, what the parents looked like. We did uh, virtual reality lessons last year. This time uh, I thought of introducing something called augmented reality, which uh, many schools did not start yet. Uh, it is something really cool and it is really a type of interactive reality based uh, display that pops up on their screen where they can literally touch a look at it. We were seeing like the planets and like how rough they were. You gotta like move around and you can see it was like 3D and you could like move into it and you can see it from far away too. It looks like you go like go and grab it and like it looks like you it's like actually right next to you. They got to know what an augmented reality is because uh, it is a completely new uh, experience for uh, me, also for my kiddos. I feel uh, they really uh, liked it to see it this way than the regular book stuff, they really loved it.